Welcome back, folks. This is more Edna and Harvey. Is crazy. Wow. Who are you? I'm Petra. Give me a pee. Give me a punch to the oh, face. Uh, you know what? You can keep the pee. What are you doing here? What does it look like? Looking crazy. I'm throwing a surprise party. Where are the other guests? Hello. It's a surprise party! What kind of surprise would it be if everyone knew about it? You didn't have to do that. The party is not for you. What? Today is Bitch. the birthday of Peter! Oh, but please don't tell him the party is here! It's supposed to be a surprise! We'll see about that. You have to promise you won't tell him. Okay. Promise? All right, I promise. Swear it. I swear. Cross your heart. Okay, okay, okay. Cross your heart and hope to die. I swear it, okay? Okay, I'll take your word for it. Interesting choice of venue. What do you mean? Don't you think more people would come? If it wasn't in the bathroom of all places? I don't know. It is a surprise party after all. And what could possibly be more surprising? Surprising doesn't do it justice. Appalling or absurd. That's more like it. Oh, yeah? So, where would you have thrown the party? In my pants. How about the bar? That's out of the question. Peter's been sitting there all day long, crying into his drink. And it's supposed to be a surprise party. He's a little touchy when it comes to his age. I hope the party can cheer him up a little. Any room would have been better. I like it here. Keep on celebrating. Oh, I will. Oh, yeah. Turn the lights off on your way out! We'll see. Let's grab the bean dip and get out of here. Do it yourself. This place is filled with crazy people. Looks like he could use some bean dip. I've got something for you. This will get you back on your feet in no time. I doubt that. We'll swipe that cocktail menu. There's only one choice available. Stinky drink. Stinky. Man, this barkeeper has the worst chicken scratch since Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee had the tiger claw, Edna. No wonder you couldn't read it. Barkeep, one drink, please. Of course, my dear. The what stinky pinky. A stinky drink, please. One stinky drink coming up. That's cute. With a little umbrella. But what's that funky smell? Did somebody die suddenly? It's made out of cat piss. I must be crazy. Are you all right? Edna, say something. The natives have surrounded the fort, Colonel. 
Phew, thank God. Everything back to normal. How was the drink? So-so. Well, at least you finished it. Yes, I had to destroy it. Something as diabolical as this stinky drink should not roam free in the world. Besides, I didn't finish it completely. I left the fly. This fly is already on the other side. Oh, poor little fly. Let's go ahead and stick him in with our earwax. I could press the fly into the earwax. That sounds good to my ears! So why don't we just do it? <laughs> it resembles a mosquito that's been enclosed in tree resin. That's fucking awesome. Interesting. Shitting in a urinal. I don't think it's very appealing to put the finger food right next to the toilets. Let's grab these bag of chips. They won't be needing them. I've got something for you. Oh, I can't believe it. Dino DNA embedded in amber like it should be. This is exactly what I need for my dino breeding program. <sighs> May I keep it? What will you give me in return? Hmm. Well, the only thing I can give you is my ticket for the laundry lift. After all, I no longer need to travel to my Peruvian amber mines. Do we have a deal? Done deal. This is supposed to be a ticket? That's just a coat hanger. It is what it is. Excuse me, please. Yes, my child. Do you really need this coat hanger for your weather experiment? I've got one here that's at least as good. Aha. Uh -huh. And now you'd like to swap. That would be nifty. Well, if it makes you happy. Thank you. You're a real friend. We got a lift ticket. Let's give it to the strange fellow here. I've got my ticket. And may I see it? Very well. You may pass. Hello over there. Oh, a new neighbor. Who are you? I am Mr. Frock, of course. <laughs> Strange name, that. It is meant for a human, but I am a... A frock. I get it. Oh, no. Not at all, you flatterer. I am merely a coat. Wow. You are exceptionally white. What do you use? Astonishing, isn't it? I'm very proud of my colorlessness. I used to be beige. But there's not a lot of light in here, so the pigment's left, out of boredom. Where's this lift going? I can't answer that, I'm afraid. There are three exits in total. One of them is the laundry in the basement. You get a great view from there. Unfortunately, I forget where the other two exits lead. Why? How long have you been hanging up here? <laughs> they used to call me Mr. Toga. 
Are there any moths in here? Don't frighten me. What makes you think that? Have you seen anything? I had a feeling just now of something moving in the shadows. Oh, that. Those are just wolf spiders. There are lots of them in here, but moths. Now, that would be a disaster. My fabric is so delicate. Isn't the next exit due soon? I have the same feeling that time has slowed down while we were talking. Oh, here it is. All right, down here on some kind of dark, empty, Power dungy usage room. seems to be within acceptable range. They're using too much energy. It's like someone's leaving the light on all the time. bathroom. I never wanted to be a firefighter. I was more partial to the opposing side. I never wanted to... I What do you think, Harvey? Shall I press it? I'd like to see that. I'm gonna do it. Go ahead, be my guest. I'll do it. I'll really do it. You don't have the guts. I'm serious. Chicken, chicken! Edna! What now? It doesn't seem to have had any effect. It's bullshit. Hello, princess. What's a girl like you doing in an asylum like this? Wait, don't tell me. You're Edna, right? Hey, how do you know that? There isn't much that Dr. Marcel can hide from me. That he's keeping you locked up in the tower, for example. So we seem to be fellow prisoners. By the way, people call me the Keymaster. Isn't that the cutest nickname? What else do you know about me? Just that a dark secret links you to the doctor. An unspeakable, dark secret. He spends much time and energy trying to erase your memory. One could even say it is a personal crusade. And the fact that you always find a way to remember drives him to great irritation. Do you know how I can get out of here? Yes. What? Yes. I know how you can get out of here. I've had plenty of time to figure out an escape plan. Only problem is, I can't do anything about it in here. You, on the other hand, can move relatively unrestricted out there. And you are clever. Unlike most other inmates. So, what's your plan? First, you must find a way to the other side of the bars. Then, you'll have to make a copy of the master key. We'll be able to get out of the building with that. It opens my cell door, too. Finally, we need a vehicle to exit the compound. Sounds fairly simple, but... How do I get to the other side of the grate? You'll find a way, I'm sure. Maybe through the laundry lift system. There is a third exit in the basement. But please, don't take any unnecessary risks. If you drop down there without soft padding, you'll break every bone in your body. And that's it for my plan. How very considerate. 
Thank you. How do I get a copy of the Master Key? You'll have to find the original first. Then you'll need clay for the imprint, a furnace to bake the clay, and an easily melted metal to cast the copy. Gold would be perfect. Where do I get gold? Hmm. Tricky, that. Dr. Marcel keeps his polo trophies too securely to get at them. The only alternative I see is Adrian's medal from the Jigsaw Contest. However, Adrian is sitting in his cushion fort in the lounge, like Lord Muck, and he guards himself with this uh, playboy. What's his name? Drogglejuck. <sighs> okay, okay. It's all right. As stupid as Adrian might be, he has a pretty impressive mind-reading act. It might prove difficult to get the medal from him, even if you manage to get past Drogglejug. I'll kick Drogglejug in the nuts. I don't get past him. How do I get a vehicle? Everything in its time. But we're not there by a long shot yet. Where can I find clay? Good question. The clay from occupational therapy has been completely pounded into ugly ashtrays. You can't use that anymore, but maybe it would help you to know that this asylum has been built on a pretty clay-packed layer of earth. Where can I find the master key? That's easy. The guard they call Bladder has it. Bladder is on monitor watch duty in the control room on the third floor. He's far from being watchful. But when it comes to keys, he's a real bulldog. Maybe you can distract him with something. How do I get a vehicle? Everything in its time. But we're not there by a long shot. I think I know what I have to do now. Good luck, Edna. Is there anything else you'd like to know? I've got to go. Give my regards to Lady Liberty. Will do, Keymaster. All right, some more fucking retards. Hi, you two. Hello. Hello and hello. Hottie and Mahdi? Those are highly unusual names. Well, that's because our dad is Japanese. And our mom is of Hopi origin. But you must have suspected as much. You can tell from Hottie's almond eyes. Oh god. Two queer baits. Who are you? I'm Mahdi. And this is my twin brother, Hottie. We are Siamese twins. But I bet you You're already Siamese suspected stupid. as much. Why are you just sitting around here? We're making sure no one steals our bed. But all the beds are the same. Ha! That's what you think. If you know what to look for, there are huge differences. It's like with Hottie and me, there are few people who can distinguish between us. But after a while, you start to recognize the differences. That is our secret twin power, so to speak. We see the differences where others just shrug their shoulders helplessly. Which brings us back to the subject of beds. On first appearance, they all look the same. But this one here... Is the only one with a bed sheet. Why are the both of you only wearing one sweater? The gay. That's a silly question. It's much too warm for wearing two. You're not Siamese twins at all. Correct. We are actually Siamese triplets. But Brody is away in Paris studying art history. Yes, he's always been the strange one. I'm taking off. Will you come along? Um, no. We have the softest blanket in the whole world right here. And where, pray tell, would we go anyway? See you later. Rock on. And send my regards to Lady Liberty if you see her. I'm gonna send my regards to Lady Libertize you. 
salt and pepper queer bait freaks. Stop fidgeting for a moment. I have an idea. You're free. Wow. What's going on? What have you done? Are you a surgeon or something? Yeah, pretty much. I'm a surgeon for the stupid. Freaks. I got about a blanket. I mustn't succumb to my lower instincts. You're not supposed to eat chips in bed. Come to my. I mustn't say. Though I can think of a thousand ways to use it, I still think it's too bulky to lug around. Here we go! Woohoo! It's Mr. Frock again. Hello over there. Oh, a new neighbor. Isn't the next exit due soon? I have the same feeling that time has slowed down while we were talking. Oh, here it is. Good thing this was down here. I would have broken all my bones otherwise. That would suck. Kitchen! My favorite place in any house. Or insane asylum. Today is free choice day. Obviously, the chosen meals are arranged according to the seats. The order hasn't been made yet. Oh, great balls of fire! There's cutlery in there! Now, what if we hear a knife and a fork? This series of surprises just keeps on coming. What's this? Not one spoon? Where the heck are the spoons? Now we can stab people in their face. I'll take it. Grab the pot and the pot holders as well. Wow. 
and then snag the ketchup and the mustard. Good thing Dr. Marcel isn't back yet. That's definitely Dr. Marcel's distinct signature. This drawer was locked earlier, so we'll use the knife to get it open. Yeah! I can reach between the desk and the drawer with this. With any luck... There! Success! There's an old key in the drawer. I'll take that. I bet it's important. Dr. Marcel kept it hidden in a locked drawer after all. Gotta be important then. Alright, now that we got the old key, let's head back downstairs. Guess that poor little bastard is still locked in there. Hilarious. doesn't fit here. It's locked. Hey, it was worth a try. It's locked. Did you try using the key, you stupid broad? Let's see. Wow. That really worked. Imagine that's a key unlocking a door. Alfred was very clumsy with this kite. That little putz was a clumsy oaf, period. Alfred got this great bike from his father. Mine was from the junkyard. If ever I need an imprint of Dr. Marcel's knee, I know where I can get it now. I vaguely remember Alfred. He was an extremely obnoxious boob, I'll admit that. But to think that he's dead now... Makes me laugh. Oh. Oh. Edna? Edna? Oh. The kid was a klutz. I know. Oh. He was a jerk. I... Edna had a crush. I know. I couldn't stand him. An idiot! A moron! A pimpled ulcer. A bag of... Pus. Dumb as a bag of nails. Cry, baby. Butthead. Goof. Fucking Green retard. Green dead mother friggin' vomit munching horse fornicator. Edna? I miss him. I know. Dr. Marcel will pay for this. You think he's got something to do with this? Look around you. It's obvious that this guy is insane. I know the recollection of what happened back then must be buried somewhere in my brain. This is exactly why Dr. Marcel is trying to erase my memory. And to think he's got the nerve to accuse my father. We'll find the missing piece of the puzzle, Edna. I promise. Oh, Alfred. Whatever happened. Haha! <laughs> Edna! Edna! What the hell? Edna! What? You little swamp-dwelling toad! I'll kill you! Oh... I mean, I would if you weren't already dead. They actually squeezed Alfred into that? Human bodies are 90% water, Edna. And considering Alfred's head, I'll raise your 90 to 98%. Hello? Anybody home? What do you think? Alfred! Alrighty then. Look! That's Poozy! Harvey couldn't stand him. 
Poozy must kill Harvey. <coughs> Poozy must kill Harvey. Oh yeah, still his usual self, old Poozy. That's Alfred's homework. Alfred was a real nerd, and he never let me copy off him. What's this? Scribbled on the edge of the page. Mattis Conrad? That's my father's name, but it isn't his handwriting. Although somebody has made a great effort to copy it, obviously. Just a second. That's my handwriting. I don't get it. Why did I sign my father's name on the edge of Alfred's homework? Harvey, do you know anything about it? Oh yeah, I can remember that day very well. That was the day I taught you how to forge signatures. It's time to transmo morph tempo morph whatever the fuck you call it. Can you remember this, Harvey? Yes, indeed I do. You and Alfred had a private lesson with Mr. Hornbush. The lesson was utterly boring. And while Alfred did his best to follow, I taught you how to forge signatures. Do you think we can go back there so I can learn it again? That should be no problem. Are you ready? Yeah. Temple morph me to the past. As you wish. Hold on. Here we go. Oh dear. I really do remember, I'm afraid. This is Mr. Hornbush's math class. Horny Bush. He was very strict and he always picked on me. Doesn't he look like one of the aliens in Star Trek? I'm afraid that if I don't pay attention, he'll lock me in the cupboard again. This is a riddle you have to solve on your own. Good luck, Harvey. All right, folks, when we return, we'll play as Harvey and help escape Edna's dreaded hornbushy past.